A key factor that defines a specific AVA is the weather. Local weather patterns or microclimates are affected by conditions including the average annual rainfall, average daily temperature, winds, fog, and the difference between the daytime and nighttime temperature known as the diurnal temperature variation. The effect of microclimates has a dramatic effect on the specific grape varieties planted. Throughout Monterey County, the single largest climate influencer is the proximity of a particular appellation to the cold waters of the bay. The diurnal temperature cycle, or the nighttime, the daytime, the nighttime cycles and temperature are really very important, not only in defining the, the characteristic of a region, but also to, to define what varieties are best grown in, in, in any given region, anywhere from for instance, the San Lucia Highlands, which has a very narrow day-night day temperature, only about 18 degrees Fahrenheit, all the way down to, say, Hames Valley, which has upwards of 40 degrees Fahrenheit day-night difference in temperature. Now, what that means is you grow different varieties in different regions. So the diurnal cycle is something we look at very carefully when we're deciding what to plant. Pinot and Chardonnay are, are both relatively cool climate grapes. Uh, Chardonnay actually can tolerate a little bit more heat than Pinot Noir. But actually, a, a warmer night uh, really favors Pinot Noir because that allows it to continue to ripen throughout the night. Now, the, the flavors, the uh, aromas, uh, the color, and also the tannins in the fruit will ripen at night without the presence of sugar ripening. That allows us to get that, those kind of characteristics to ripen uh, at the same time as the sugar, so we don't end up having high sugar fruit and high alcohol wines. Chardonnay is generally planted, I think, more in the flat areas here. So that actually gets exposed to a little more of the afternoon winds. And the afternoon winds will actually tend to shut down the vine temporarily in the middle afternoon. So it stops producing sugar, but the fruit continues to ripen. So in, in a sense, that allows it to, the Chardonnay to develop its flavor without getting high sugars. Right now, it's primarily in the Salinas Valley, and, and, and the closer you get to the coast, those are the areas where it grows the best.